Now, as many of you already know that yesterday, Neo and Onvo did an official launch of their sub-brand called the L60, which was a success. Now, as many of you already know that yesterday, Onvo did an official launch of their sub-brand. Ah, come on, man. I mean, many of you, you will know that yesterday, Onvo did an official launch of uh, their L60 model, and I must say, it was a success. And many of the investors are really excited about the prices of the Onvo L60 without bus, which, by the way, is $21,000, and with bus, the starting price, it's just $29,000 or below $30,000, which is something that is just so amazing so incredible to see i mean what is really interesting is that the conversations that the neo ceo and the president of onvo were having after the launch were very very interesting i mean the ceo of neo confirmed that the onvo orders which they received after that launch has increased their servers by fivefold in terms of capacity which is something that shows you the amount of orders we have received from Onvo. We don't have the number yet, or the total number of orders have not been um, given out yet. But hopefully today, maybe, or tomorrow, I think we'll start getting to see the orders that Onvo actually received. Which, boy, based on what we just hearing from the Neo CEO, the orders are looking pretty good, pretty sharp. And the best better watch out because the CEO of New York went further and said that because of the inflows of the order they received, they are forced to quickly upgrade the production capacity. I mean, the production capacity for October, as per the new CEO, will be 5,000. December production capacity will be 10,000. January will be 16,000. And March, the production capacity for Envoy would have upgraded to 20,000. This simply means one thing, and that is, ladies and gents, from March of next year, we could easily see Onvo delivering 20,000 on a month to month, which is something that I must say, this I'm very happy about, because not only are we going to be seeing Neo models selling 20,000, but Onvo will be selling 20,000 on the other hand and therefore making neo as a collective orders reaching 40,000. this is bullish news these are massive news as we wait for the actual numbers which hopefully today tomorrow they can be published and get out and we get more excitement from that so this uh, when i saw this i just thought i give you these figures i mean yesterday's launch like i said it was a success Onvo starts at $29,300 with a 60 kilowatts battery, which is a standard battery pack. And it is starting with 21,000 RMB. And the battery rental for the 60 kilowatts battery, it's $85. Whilst the battery rental for the long range for the Onvo, which is the 85 kilowatts, it's $127 per month, which these prices are so attractive. Onvo, there is no doubt that it will do very well. It will sell well. And it's going to give some serious competition, not only to Model Y, it is going to also bring some heat onto companies like BYD and all the other mass market brands that are selling um, cars within the range of this uh, Onvo L60, which I must say, 206,000 RMB, it is a very good starting price of this model and those within the same range better watch out because Onvo is coming. You will know that one of the things that we saw yesterday coming from the launch is that the Onvo's executive confirmed that by December 1000 battery shopping station will be ready or should be ready for the Onvo users to utilize battery shopping stations which is something that is just so amazing there are already battery shopping stations which are already ready and the Envoy users that will be getting their orders probably by next week will ha be having battery shopping station which they can go and perform a battery shop from
and this is just so amazing because we are seeing Neo adding for the very first time a partner onto their battery swapping station that will be performing battery swaps together with the Neo models. This is just on another level. These are massive news. Otherwise, I just thought I'd just give you this quick update. Tell me what you think about this. I think these are massive bullish news and I just thought I'd give them to you. Do your own DD before you buy this new stock for the very first time because it is quite volatile. We saw what went after the launch. It fell down quite sharply, going below where it closed at on uh, Wednesday and a few moments later we saw it heading back up, finishing the day up 7%, which shows you the volatility that is found within this new stock. So do your own duty so that at least you are comfortable as you are investing onto this stock. Otherwise, that's all from me. I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey. And God bless you all.